right now we will not say dr lizzie is weak or we could we cannot say she's a weakling because yeah it is good for a woman to still be having some fears for the man for the man she calls my lord for the man she calls my husband my people uh the rumor we are hearing right now though some people are saying a lot of things about dr lizzie but it is not so i support dr lizzie 100 percent if all this information is true my people as only of ife send threatening message to dr lizzie and because of that out of fear she now revealed a powerful secret my people welcome back to my channel it is me again live gs plus i am so happy today because you know why i am giving you gist as i did give you the gist it is sweet me because i love to keep you engaged i love to tell you the latest happening in town please you have to subscribe to this channel listen to the, my videos to the end so that when you are commenting you know what you are commenting some people will just go through it more they will not come and comment you don't even know read to the last to know how everything take end you go say no no be like that it be you mm. well oh i beg if you listen finish my people subscribe oh. do not forget to give the video a thumbs up so the information that we are getting now is that dr lizzie allegedly opens up to kbac kbac sent him a sent her a very threatening message as kbac continues to tell him you know we heard that dr lizzie vacated the palace and at a point, um, uh, if a priest now came and said, a diviner said, Dr. Lizzie is in danger. Yes. It's just like it's a coincidence. Because firstly, she left on her own. Because it was later we gathered the information that she left. Because she could not bear all the things that are happening inside the palace. There is no Kwenomi to confine in. There is no Kwenomi to be with, to talk with. There is nobody to share uh, thoughts with. She's just there on her own just like one person standing five against one you know everybody's against her because they call her a, a maid to queen naomi so they don't even want to associate with her they they see her like she's a weakling that she's too tender for their liking so who knows maybe why she left the palace they already know she was leaving and they now conspired to kidnap her and that was on her way to where she was going so we don't know as at the time we heard this information the first information we got we didn't know where she was going all we knew that she was going to somewhere to have some make her brain self cool because as at that type period we heard that she Kwenomi was not happy with her i think that is one of the things that made her leave the palace because the echo of the uh, the way Kwenomi talked to her everything that Kwenomi bombarded her with was it kept coming to her head and she needed to go and cool off but that time we didn't know that she was going somewhere that we knew so they said on her way uh these people ambushed her took her you know so that she managed to escape that they don't even know how she managed to escape now it was later that the diviner came and was pointing that what happened that that Kwenomi is in danger but she has escaped but she's somewhere that whatever that happened to Queen, uh, dr lizzie they should hold these people inside this palace responsible even though they're trying to deny that they don't know anything concerning dr lizzie but the diviner will not just come and accuse you people of what you do not do it means you guys are guilty of it you did it but you know go expect say they go agree all these things now make kwenomi and everything where concern kwenomi come out make they own the palace and be able because as dr lizzie is in that palace they cannot do anything and some things where they, they do they, they try to restrict because dr lizzie will always see them so they want her out of the way so why she escaped she went to somewhere and stayed now kabi now happened to send him started calling you know tracking her and she has to she said she she couldn't keep her phone off because she she felt uh her people might want to know we have here about she doesn't want to give anybody bp you know so she decided to still keep in touch with them not knowing that one of them leaked the number that she has to kbc as kbc was worried where is my wife where is my wife 
Now, Kabi is called her according to what we heard. Gave her a threatening of her life. If you don't return in three days, I am going to throw your your dowry inside the river, and that will be the end of this marriage. Hey, my people, will not be smarting. Now, is it now on uh, Doctor Lizzie that Kabi is want to implement the instruction they gave her, they gave him to do to perform on this Oloris for them to leave? We remember those uh, that Cameroonian man that told Kabi said that this is the only way. Now, any day he looks for any of the wife he no see for two days. Make you just carry the diary, go put inside the river, and that will be the end. The person will never return again. So now, Dr. Lizzie won't use the practice, I'm right? Okay. So they said he called Dr. Lizzie, and Dr. Lizzie knew about it. Kabiesi told she and Quenomi that period. So she knew that something like that can happen. So when Kabiesi now called, threatened her that if I look for you in three days' time, you don't you don't open up where you are let me pick, let out let uh, my people come and pick you from there your papa house hey my people they said dr lizzie started fidgeting you know, out of fear yes it is good she's not a weakling it's not as if she doesn't have sense but this is someone who respects her husband this is somebody who respects the king so you don't blame her at all she did what she did because she is submissive she did what she did because she cannot drag power with Kabiesi. At least uh, nothing has gone so between, between she and Kabiesi now. Uh, Kabiesi has not really offended her the way she, Kabiesi offended Queen Naomi. So even though, even though she has no right to even leave the palace. So she did that because of her mental health. We agree. But what we make it worse is uh, and not good for us uh, is if Kabiesi now tell her give her instruction and she don't obey it that is when everything will worsen so they said uh kabiesi told her you just have three days to disclose where you are don't even come back because kabiesi is afraid of what might happen on the way again so that he will not hear story he doesn't want uh, dr lizzie's people to come and start telling him bring our daughter back the way dr when naomi's people are disturbing so Kabi is now, after giving her much pressure, they said, ah, that she was on the phone, she could not call the phone. Kabi is was bombarding, telling her that if you don't come back in the next three days, forget the marriage. So before we know it, they said when uh, Dr. Lizzie started confessing, confessed where they are, confessed the place she is, everything concerning the place, the area but she did not give the particular address she only told kabi ac this is where i am okay send your people i'll be coming out when are you coming i'll be coming out to so so place you pick me at so so hotel that is where i'm going to be to wait for you in a neighboring hotel so kabi ac um uh, now said okay this is what is going to happen i am going to get back to you just anywhere you are just be safe because you are coming back to the palace and i wouldn't want to hear anything like you left the palace again if you try that you have yourself to blame my people when uh, dr lizzie was so afraid scared because she doesn't know the mind of kabi see whether before she go come back kabi is go down carry in this thing go through inside river my people so now the information where they fly around like this so i say nah do you think that uh, can be uh, queen, uh, dr lizzie is is weak is weak as in she's a weakling that she could not stand pressure you know like Kabi was giving her pressure simple small tests she's already fidgeting she's already scared or do you think that what she did is good that she is supposed to obey her husband she has no right to leave the palace because Kabiesi has not done her anything. Well, whichever thing that is your comments or your opinion, drop on the comment section. As I will be there to read comments, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget that all these are alleged information. Please stay on the line. I'll bring you more updates. Thank you.